Hi, my name is Ryan Crowley. I'm from the United Kingdom. I'm 23 years old. Um, I'm a bodybuilder. I've been competing in bodybuilding for six, seven years now. I did my first show when I was 16 years old. One day I was normally in the gym doing what I normally do. Um, normally always goes pretty well, to be honest, for me. But this day it was a life-changing day. What happened was a freak accident. I was doing incline bench press, which to be honest, I didn't really do that much. Um, it's an exercise that I chop and change around within my workouts. Something, I have a bit of a bad shoulder on my left side and it kind of aggravates it sometimes, to be honest. So I try and stay away from it. However, this day, it was a, me and my, two of my friends, Larry Wheels and Charlie Johnson, we were filming for YouTube and we thought, let's do it, you know? So we were in there, I was war warming up like normal. Um, one plate, two plate, three plates, four plates, I had a good set of um, 180 kilograms and we went up to 220 kilograms and I went to uh, unrack it and I was slowly coming down with a bar and my pec tore from the tendon, the tendon tore off the bone. Um, my, my pec was halfway across from where it should be. There was a huge gap here and I was in absolute agony. Luckily they managed to grab the bar so it didn't kill me, it didn't paralyze me because that could have happened. Um, and then I was sat down for a while and the pec actually cramped and locked up and I could see it pulling across my body towards my sternum. It was extremely painful. I was sat there thinking my life is pretty much over, you know, because for me, my physique is what it looks like and it gets judged on what I look like. So if something is, is visual, then nothing I can do about it. It was devastating for me. So, Larry Wills was the one who spoke to me about Dr. Shine, who works here at King's College. And Dr. Shine has worked on a lot of athletes that I, I know of or I've heard of, and I thought this is the best guy to do the job. So we called Dr. Shine, we sent him the video because obviously we were filming, so we had the accident on film. We showed him the video and told him what happened to me and kind of basically said, fix me, you know, and do your best job with it. And to be honest, he came in to see Dr. Shine, he operated on me, and he did a very great job. The surgery was supposed to be an hour long. It turned up being four hours long because the, it was such a bad injury to my pec. It was very bad. It was over here. He had to recreate my pec, the muscle itself, and attach it to the bone and drill it into the bone. He managed to attach the pec properly to my bone and give me the shape of my pec back, which I was very, very uh, worried about because what happens when you normally tear your pec is it's normally like a, a muscle belly tear and you end up with a, with a huge indent here. And for me, again, it looks awful, it completely changes the way you look. However, I actually have a pec and this is all muscle, you know, so it goes straight into my armpit then I have a scar here. It's been a week now since the surgery. I was staying in hospital for three days after the surgery because I was in a lot of pain and I wasn't able to go home because I'm actually living in a hotel here in Dubai. So I was very edgy about leaving the hospital and I wanted the best care, you know, considering I wanted to look the best as possible, make sure the wound healed, we started healing very well. I've been doing a a few different types of therapies now. I see a physiotherapist and I'm doing cryotherapy for my recovery and rehab to get back to the gym. I'm currently seeing a physiotherapist to help me with the rehab of my pec. He's got a, a lot of different sort of treatments, um, electro stimulation, he's trying to stretch and go through the, just the biomechanics of my elbow and my shoulder movement, which is gonna help me in terms of progress in my recovery because in, in my head, I just wanna keep it still right now because I'm very scared but it's more of a mental barrier than a physical barrier so he's trying to help me push through those ranges of motion to get me back to the gym. So from when I first arrived in the hospital I was extremely pleased it was very clean the reception were very good very respectful to me they got me straight into A&E I was seen very very fast the nurses in there looked after me we, we went through scans and I didn't actually fit in the MRI machine so we didn't manage to get an MRI scan but we got the scans done, everything was done good. Uh, they admitted me to hospital. We had the surgery, it was 
28 hours after the incident. So I was extremely pleased. For me, the longer you leave this sort of incident, the less likelihood of them is being able to fix it. So being able to do like 28 hours after I did it was absolutely amazing. I cannot believe it was done so quick. Especially like I talked to a lot of people around the world with having the same injury and no one's had it done this quick. So for me, it was a huge part of the deal. Once surgery would be done, I was being looked after some really good nurses here. Margaret, Helen, Dennis were really good to me. Really made me feel at home and took away a lot of the stress because I'd never really had a surgery before. And I was extremely scared of surgery here, um, like the whole going to sleep sort of part. And I was very, 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 very worried. But it went well um, and I was extremely pleased with the experience here at King's College.